There has always been an argument within Tarkov that gear matters the most from everything else in the game at your disposal. Gear being guns, ammo, armor, meds, etc. These items are the pillars of what makes someone extremely lethal in Tarkov. That is ultimately that argument. And while there is a level of truth to that statement, there is a large aspect that people who tout that have forgotten or simply ignored altogether. And that is experience and knowledge. Tarkov is one of the many games that if you know what you're doing, you know how to navigate, you know what items are worth what, these fundamentals that have been trained and honed over potentially years hold much more water than a big gun with good ammo. And for many of the veterans of this game, this idea makes sense. Why would something that can be lost so easily have more impact than your ability to just outplay someone with that level of gear who may not know all there is to know in Tarkov? But today, I wanted to kind of explore this philosophy in Tarkov and explain why someone's tenure in the game might matter more than the gun they have in their hands or the armor that they wear. Tarkov is most certainly a complex game, both regarding its actual mechanics and the, let's say, non-intuitive design of said mechanics. Some are better than others, but to say that Tarkov doesn't have some jank that could be ironed out would be a lie. Regardless, a brand new player to the game won't be able to just jump into it as if they're playing something like Call of Duty. You pick a class and, you know, you're off to the races. In Tarkov, you need to know guns, ammo types, the medical system, armor, the list is very daunting when you look at it for the first time. Even just the inventory when you load up the game can be very intimidating, and you can explain these concepts to a new player a thousand times, but it may never click for them until they get in the game and experience some raids. Even if the player has a solid background in FPS games, Tarkov is such its own beast that even if you can click heads very well, the game won't allow you to get away with that by itself. There are enough elements in the game that you will die eventually and be unsure as to how it happened. Map knowledge, audio understanding even though it's still very much an issue, being able to discern a scav versus an actual player, it is a Herculean task to figure this game out. I feel as though it would take a new player to Tarkov but is familiar with shooters roughly two weeks before they start to get comfortable with the game, and that's if they decide to stick with it and play consistently. Luckily, Tarkov does have that bug that once you get it, most people kind of become addicted to the game because it's so unique, and after you invest a lot of time in the Tarkov, it can be a little difficult to go back to other shooters, or at least in my case, take them seriously. These days, any shoulder that isn't Tarkov, I find myself just relaxing the game, having fun, not really caring if I die. It's honestly very much a relieving feeling instead of always trying to take it super serious. Nah, I'm just trying to have some fun every once in a while. Tarkov got the idea of stakes right. You go in with stuff, and you die if you lose stuff. And while other games have tried to emulate that tantalizing sensation, no one's actually really gotten it right, at least in the shooter genre. Regarding the idea that gear is more important than experience or knowledge, there have been many people who echo this sentiment that gear is not as important as understanding the game. If you gave someone the best gear in the game, something like a Alton, Slick, Juicy, Min Max, M4, RD704, something along those lines, and the new player might feel powerful, but if they were to fight a one-on-one -on, -one on a very experienced player in a location like dorms or maybe the resort, I honestly have doubts that they would be able to take out the veteran player, even if that player had low level gear like an SKS and some PS ammo. If you were to run a simulation, I feel as though maybe 2 or 3 times out of 10, the new player might be able to kill the veteran player. The number of sheer hours just in the game, walking around and gaining the knowledge of not only how to move around the map, but also handle situations and knowing how to respond to what's going on around them, certainly trumps just having good gear. Most new players to Tarkov, the thing that gets them usually is noise. They don't like to make noise because of how prevalent footsteps are and other player made sounds are. So they usually creep around very slowly hoping no one hears them and they can sneak up and someone for a kill. Meanwhile, an experienced player doesn't mind the noise because they know that movement and proper positioning are critical to success in Tarkov. If you can outflank your opponent, you're most likely to catch them in a reload, a reposition, heal, or any opportunity where they have their guard down for an easy kill. Experienced players are not afraid to move. In fact, they arguably do it sometimes too much. Sometimes trying to stay too mobile can wind up getting you caught in the crossfire by someone else you weren't even aware of. 
But even so, if I may speak from personal experience, nothing hurts more than trying to sneak up on someone who might be busy fighting another player or have someone else run into you and kill you. It sucks not being able to fire your gun in those situations, and I've had this happen too many times. And while I certainly enjoy playing sneaky and getting the drop on people, dying before the fight even begins is the worst feeling in the world, which is why people make an effort to move around and get engaged. They want to experience the PvP fights, and they won't get the chance if they're skulking around being sneaky waiting for the perfect shot. Newer players haven't gotten their Tarkov legs yet, so to speak. But if they stick with the game, they will. Some faster than others, but hey, we all get there eventually. Gear can certainly be a deciding factor as to whether or not you die in some situations. Getting a lucky ricochet, taking some small caliber damage, having the necessary ammo to punch through some tough armor. These will make a difference in raid. However, you can't always rely on the gear in-game to help. The later we get into a wipe cycle, the less of an effect some of these mechanics have on your survivability. So what are you left with? Well, you have your own wits and knowledge of the game, making the correct choices at the right time, knowing when to engage and maybe third party a situation, or when to retreat when a fight is not going in your favor. A lot of the game comes down to your choices in the raid, followed by your aim. But sometimes if you make the right choices, position yourself in an advantageous spot, then you might be graced with a juicy, beautiful one-shot headshot and all the gear your heart desires. But what do you think about gear in Tarkov? Is it the be-all end-all? Or is it kind of not as important as some make it out to be? Let me know in the comment section down below and be sure to subscribe for more videos about the inner mechanisms and macroeconomics of gear in Tarkov. I hope to see you in future ones.